What's the deal y'all, ZD5 Jew back with another video. And you guys clearly see, I went ahead and cleaned the garage up, so I swept everything, got everything looking nice and neat. Still have that one spot right there that I'm probably not gonna be able to get out, but it's all right, cause it's the garage. Nobody's really gonna be coming in here but us. Need to empty that oil because I have the engine right here on the stand, as you guys saw per the last video. And I need to go ahead and drain all of the fluids on this thing. I'm gonna be taking apart all the hoses, all the lines, everything, just basically stripping this thing down and getting it ready to be painted and stuff like that you guys don't know that but we are going to be painting this engine with the valve covers uh, all of them these two as well as that one if you guys have any colors by chance go ahead and leave the comment down below i'm pretty undecisive if you guys can't tell um <laughs> I go back and forth and contemplate a lot of few things before I just go ahead and pull the trigger on whatever I want to do, aka the 2J. But yeah, if you guys have any comments or any suggestions as far as like what I should do the main valve cover, go ahead and leave them down below. I have a couple ideas as far as like what I want to do with these two and that one, but I'm not 100% certain yet. So leave comments down below. I would love to read those and just kind of see, you know, maybe the color combination goes. We are going to be painting the engine bay as well. Engine bay right now is just, you know, nasty black. <laughs> so gonna be ripping a lot of stuff out of here and getting this thing prepped for paint but yeah so that's probably my goal today go ahead and strip everything you guys saw me just now go ahead and take apart the ECU out of the harness that's pretty weird right like the ECU is in the harness I don't really know a lot of cars that's like that like at least for the Z the ECU is under the passenger dash and then for 240 same thing but for 2J is at least like the Aristos and all that stuff it's actually in the harness in the engine bay so that's pretty cool but got this here just in case I use this later yeah that's gonna stay there so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys back on the tripod you'll go ahead and watch me work and just kind of take apart everything off of this engine hopefully i don't make too much of a mess because i have the garage so clean right now but you already know how this car stuff goes so before the video starts though go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content small update got the uh, power steering off AC compressor alternator all the uh, lines and hoses for now I'm waiting to take this off because I need to take the cover off but I don't think I have the right tool to get this off right here I don't want to strip this because if I can't get that off then I'm screwed gotta wait to get that off to get the cover off and all that stuff but got a lot of stuff off I was trying to drain the oil right now I have two oil pans this one and that one over there this one as you can see is like literally completely full so I'm not trying to take a chance and like mess up the garage after how clean it is right now. I'm gonna try to go take that and drain it right now at AutoZone and then maybe come back, try to drain the oil some more. And then once I do, I can actually take off this entire mechanism because I tried to take off this motor mount over here. You see I have bol bolts out, but there is one left that is right there and I can't access it, you know, um, where the oil cooler. So need to go ahead and take that off. I did get the other motor mount out, which is right here. So this side is fairly naked besides, again, this hose right here, which will be coming off. Other than that, I feel like I made pretty good progress. Cleaned the garage, got that disassembled as much as I could right now. And luckily, I actually took that off in one whole piece you guys saw. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, go ahead and drop a thumbs up on this video. Not sure if I'm gonna continue filming because it is pretty late outside, but I'm gonna do my best because I'm trying to pump out these daily uploads for you guys. So if you guys are enjoying the content, please drop a like. I promise the content will get pretty interesting soon once we actually start putting on the parts that we have. But for now, we do have to do you know the required maintenance. Actually, I'm not gonna say required because you don't have to do this. This time around, I do wanna do things the right way. With the RB, when I got that engine, I didn't get it from an importer like I got the 2J. So when I got that, I just replaced you know simple stuff and I actually just threw that engine in. And later on, I ended up having problems when I was running more boost. So this time around with the 2JZ, I really wanna make sure I take my time with this build and do everything the correct way as far as like, you know, gaskets, getting the right tools, whatever it may be, placing all the studs, just little stuff, man. It's just the small details that make the biggest difference, I promise. 
so yeah that's gonna be that i'm gonna try to continue the vlog later but if i don't i really hope you guys enjoyed the content in today's upload i'm out lastly i do want to say that i am going to be you know putting some little paper towels and all the lines and stuff like that even though again i'm not going to be using any of this stuff right here but i definitely want to keep all this stuff in here intact so that way like dirt debris and all that doesn't get in the uh in the engine so i'll have it on both the uh exhaust side or excuse me the intake side and then the exhaust side and then i'm not really worried about the top because i do have these spark plugs still in here so the engine is completely sealed nothing's going to be getting in or out but uh yeah i just wanted to note that because i know some of you guys in the comments down below oh you didn't seal up the engine you didn't do that so I did.